between my sephora order coming in and going in store i've made so many new discoveries and i'm so excited just to sit down and play with makeup with you guys um going in store really helps see like the shades and the finishes so i don't want to make this too long we're just gonna sit down and play with makeup today and if there's anything you guys think that i need to pick up before the sale's over please let me know in the comments one of the first things i picked up is this laneige eggnog lip mask I always like to put a lip mask on before I start my makeup just so they're prepped. They usually come out with a peppermint scent every year, so I was excited to see they came out with something for the gourmand lovers. They always come with these nice little applicators too. Oh, it just feels so good. My lips have been extra dry this week. I think it's because of my allergies. Like, you'll probably see me sniffling. They have not gone away with the changes and seasons here in Arizona. I like the packaging on this too. I just think neutral packaging is very like zen and calming. If you don't like eggnog, they also have this one that comes in a purple package and the purple tint is so flattering on your lips on those like no makeup days. It just gives it a really pretty color. I'm gonna do my hair at the end, but just to keep my hair in place during this video, I'm gonna put the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. I like to use this for my flyaways and edges, but already looks so much better these i want to remind you guys to stop being so hard on yourself acne discoloration imperfections are very very normal and it is okay it's a part of life this cup from target has been making me so happy i use it every single morning if you guys are ever at target see if they have this cup we can all have matching cups and be connected every morning with our tea or coffee um it needs to cool off so i'm gonna put that over there Okay, they don't sell this at Sephora, but I'm sure there'll be like a holiday sale. If you guys need a new makeup case, I'm really loving this one from Say. It's just so easy to put everything back away in, and I just, I love this. Got my little I Voted sticker. I feel weird filming when there's like so much more important things going on, but I feel like this is also like my little piece of happiness and kind of getting my mind off of how heavy things are right now in the States. But let's prep our skin. My favorite primer lately has been from Merit. And these were gifted in PR. Anything that's ever gifted, I will always put an asterisk next to in the description box. I don't ever want you guys to think I'm like keeping anything from you. This one is out of your budget. There's an affordable hyaluronic acid that you can get Sephora. That's also really good for skin prep. And then I'm gonna go in with the Great Skin Firming Moisturizer. This is almost just like a thick cream. See how that just my skin always needs hydration but it's just so important when you're going in with um different powders and it just helps prevent things from looking cakey i have a lot of texture so um yeah i just need to really really prep my skin the best i can ah! so thankful that i have my babysitter helping me today that i can film this she just sent me her and Ocean are at the park right now. I'm excited to add some life and color back into my face. I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in 4.5. I really like the shade of this. I really like the e.l.f. one too. You do not need to splurge on the Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of those products that just looks so good if you don't like to do a lot of makeup just to throw on some mascara and just evens everything out. Ugh. I don't have a correcting concealer from Sephora, so I'm just going to use this one from LA Girl. I think I want to film like a drugstore get ready with me next because I do have a lot of makeup that I love from the drugstore. Um, Estee Lauder or like L'Oreal owns a lot of the same makeup brands that are sold at Sephora, so there's just like a lot of really good brands at the drugstore as well. So. If you guys want to see something like that, let me know. I have very deep circles, so I have to put a lot of work into covering them. Okay, that just really helps cover up the purple and discoloration on my face. I go take Instagram photos with my friend today, so I want uh, more full coverage than like an everyday makeup. But this skin tint is so hydrating. It really is just like a serum. I wore this yesterday just to give it like a wear test. And I really, really like it. Kind of shows you the difference. I got this in the shade seven. I think I want to pick this up maybe in a lighter shade for every day because I do like more of a natural 
glowy lighter coverage for every day it's like so yummy and juicy on your skin so i want more of the full coverage i'm gonna go with one of the dior stick foundations so here is three in oh i really like that shade okay, five in the yummy foundation in the shade seven reminds me a lot of mac and c30 dior finish is is like a satin finish and then the yummy skin is super hydrating and glowy your 3n 3.5n and then yummy skin in seven i really wanted to try one of the natasha denona concealers but they didn't have any in store so i'm gonna use one of my favorite concealers the hourglass i always put this on my cheeks and then mix it with my foundation on those days that I want a lot of coverage. I feel like it just automatically makes whatever I'm using a lot more full coverage. And I don't get as close to under my eyes because I go back in with concealer after I do my foundation. I'm gonna use 3.5 in on the parameter, kind of like where I would contour. It's definitely too dark to be my foundation, but I think that will add like a nice depth to my face. 3N might actually be kind of dark too. I go in with a brush when I blend out my foundation. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one from Merit. I'm just gonna start to blend that concealer in with the foundation. Whenever I mix the Hourglass concealer with my foundation, I just feel like it looks like you have this diffuse like filter on your face. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this brush from It Cosmetics just to get into all the creases I've been on the hunt for a cream contour shade that's very neutral where it has like a little bit of warmth but it's not super cool and it's not a bronzer I picked up these two shades at motivate which is the lighter shade and harmony which is the very popular shade that's usually out of stock that's what they look like for me it will be pretty on those days where I don't have self tan on Motivate is obviously a lot darker and a little bit more warm, but they're both really good neutral shades. I'm gonna go with Motivate first. I am using a much darker foundation today than I usually would. Let's see. It's looking a little too cool for the warmth of this foundation, so. Uh, yeah, Motivate is just not the right shade with the foundation I have on right now, so let's try Harmony. Harmony is a lot darker, so I want to be careful. It is very dark. I'm going to need to blend that out really well. I like to put contour on my eyes. This is blending really easily, though. I'm going to put my MAC Paint Pot on right now. This is just the best primer for your eyeshadow. I'm going to go back in with my Hourglass Concealer always like to go right up to the edge of my nose i like to go right by the outer crease of my eye around my nose and i kind of like to highlight right here to like lift my smile line and then i also like to highlight under my contour so i like to get really close to my contour line do the same thing over here go in with a big brush like this one from elf just to kind of merge all of the product together you can see how that just made everything look so much more blended my favorite cream blushes right now are from road but to stay on theme with sephora products i'm gonna go in with my cream blush from nude sticks in the shade sherry i feel like i did need to kind of revisit these Nude Six cream blushes are really, really pretty. And the shade, I feel like would be nice for the holidays. It's kind of like this berry color. I like to kind of go up on my nose. Oh, blush makes me like instantly happy. Okay, this might be going back in the makeup bag because this is really, really pretty. Put a little bit on my forehead. Before we get into the powders, I have this caviar eye stick in the shade sepia i'm so obsessed with this shade 
it's like a very neutral shade that still has warmth that's not too orangey it's just it's so pretty this is one of those products that i've recently added to my routine that just like changes and amplifies my makeup you could definitely just throw this on if you're like getting ready for work and you just want a little bit of eyeshadow it blends out so easily look how easily that just like blended out another new discovery for me is this makeup by mario translucent setting powder in the shade to neutral light they also have a really pretty peach shade i wanted to pick that up while i was in store but it was sold out so it has a yellow undertone it's super brightening so i'm just gonna go in and set my face i'm gonna just use a big fluffy brush and i think i'll go back in at the end to really set like under my eyes after i put bronzer on i forgot my favorite part of contour gonna do a little bit from my lips i've been in a little bit of a bronzer rut so i was on a mission to find the best bronzer that i could find as i love my patrick ta blush so much i was like why don't i try some of his bronzers i wanted to start with patrick ta because i do love my patrick ta blushes so so much but i realized the formula for his bronzers are a little bit drying so i don't want to get into these these are gonna get returned so then i also picked up the soft sculpt bronzer from makeup by mario this is the shade light medium that's still pretty dark um, i feel like that shade is really pretty so that's something i want to try a little bit more picked one up from house labs the only shade that they had in stock in store was the shade medium level seven i think this is gonna be a little bit too dark for me but um House Labs has such good formula, so I wanted to play with that a little bit. I texted my group chat with my best friends, Abby and Emily, the McKnight twins on YouTube, and they told me to pick this up. My other friend, Lamia, who's also on YouTube, that was the one thing she told me to pick up the last sale was the Gucci bronzer. So I was like, you know what? I really want to have quality over quantity. And if that means spending a little bit more on the Gucci bronzer and then getting rid of everything else, then I'm happy to do that. I picked up the shade two and three just because I am a little bit lighter. So here's what they look like side by side. Two looks a lot warmer and almost darker on camera. Three is a little bit more neutral. Hmm, maybe I should have picked up one and three because that is really warm. I'm gonna swatch these because I am a little bit thrown off by the fact that two looks darker. So that's two. And this is three. Hmm. So that's two and that's three. So starting with two. Um, okay, let's try three on the other side. I think that's gonna be a little bit dark. So I'm gonna go in with a really, really light hand. Do a little bit on my eyes too. On this side I have three. And then on this side, I have two. Okay, this bronzer is really doing it for me. It's like melting into my skin like butter. Another brush I really like from Sephora is this nose contour brush from Patrick Ta. Okay, I don't know if this is too dark. It's nice that it has this like blending side too. I even like using this to get into the crease in my eye, kind of angle out and blend my eyeshadow. I also like to use this under my lip to set my cream contour. As always, this will forever just be my favorite eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use this shade that I always use I'm hitting pan on. I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, eyeshadow stick from Laura Mercier with this eyeshadow palette. I feel like they're just like made for each other. I'm gonna just deepen it a little bit in the crease with that one shade over. I just, I love this eyeshadow palette so, so much. I know a lot of people like their Makeup by Mario palette, but I just, I have that and I never, I never grab for it. I'm just gonna use a dab of that darker eyeshadow just in the outer crease. Uh, super simple. The best discovery made in store is this Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. I really like my Hourglass Setting 
powders, but I wanted to find something similar. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, you're coming home with me. Like, first off, look how pretty that packaging is. Finish of this just makes you look like a glowing angel. Look how pretty that is and like under. This makes the biggest difference, especially if you're ever taking photos Steps like this really brighten and make your face look a lot more like face-tuned in photos. This is by far my favorite thing that I picked up during the sale. It just makes such a difference. And then I picked up two blushes. I've had the shade Fire Moon from House Labs in my cart every single sale. I've never picked it up, so I'm excited to try that. And then while I was in store, I saw this shade Dreamland from Kosas. It has that same finish as the cloud finishing powder that I just used. So I kind of want to start with that. I tried it when I was a little bit more fair and didn't have my um, fake tan on and it looked really, really pretty. I feel like this is a product that's in between a highlighter and a blush. It just adds such a glowy finish. I like using products like this a lot more than like a really bright highlight shade. And while we're talking about blush, I cannot believe I've almost hit pan on the shade She's Blushing from Patrick Ta. Then I also have this neutral peachy shade from House Labs in the shade Fire Moon. It's pretty. I don't know if I need both of these. I'm just gonna swatch all of these real quick. So first we have Kosas and Dreamland. So yeah, I just feel like that will be nice to apply every time I do my blush, almost as like a highlight or like a blending shade to make it blend with my bronzer. That is House Labs. And this is Patrick Ta. And this is what it looks like with the topper. See how you can really amplify that? That's why I feel like I like it when I'm fair or when I'm a little bit darker. I can just put that cream topper and it just makes it look a little bit darker. I just feel like these two together are going to be my new favorite combo. Moving into lips, I also really wanted to find a new lip combination. I picked up a few from Kosas, but I realized I think they're a little bit too peachy. So I'm not even going to get into those. I think I'm going to return those. But I wanted to try a new shade from Patrick Ta. So I picked up the shade Oh She's Single. Oh, she's single, y'all. His lip liner is by far the most long-lasting lip liner I've ever used. I can go out to dinner. I can like drink wine and it does not budge. So I'm gonna start with this. Like that is just like a really true brown contour shade. It's not as dark as my other liner that I usually use in She's Strong. I love this. It's not too peachy. It's not pink. It's just like a very good true contour shade. So Refai came out with these blur liners. It's like a crayon application with this just instantly makes your lips look bigger. So I'm gonna put that on. I'm happy I went in person to look at these because I was gonna get the shade lighter. I think it's called Stone or something like that but it was a little bit too peachy, so I picked up the shade Umber instead. This is just like a true dark brown. And then for lips, I picked up two from Anastasia in the shade Soft Brown and Warm Taupe. And then I also picked up a bunch from the Sephora line. This line is 30% off, so I have 66, 75, and 120. Each time I've gone in, I've swatched so many different shades of lipsticks because it's really hard to find something that isn't too cool tone that makes you look dead, but it's not too pink or too peachy. So um, all of these are like a really nice, true beigey brown nude. Um, this is Warm Taupe. It has like a little bit of a peachy undertone. We have warm Taupe, Soft Brown, 66, 75, and then 120 here at the bottom. I think if I just use this with my um, liquid lip in 32, just to brighten it up a little bit, I think that'll be perfect. The best liquid um, eyeliner is from Stila. It's just so easy to use. I love this mascara from YSL in the shade two. It's like a really deep, warm toned brown. I feel like some of my other mascaras, I have to wait for it to dry and then like use multiple coats, but this just, I 
with one coat it just makes such a difference well now that my makeup is pretty much finished i just need to do my hair and i picked up this heated round brush from maine so i'm gonna go plug this in i'm so excited to try this i've heard such good things and my hair when it's wet is so frizzy so i like that you use this on dry hair also picked up this set from color wow it's the uh, full size and travel size of their dream coat so i'm gonna go plug this in i just i love the brand day so i'm gonna go in with this heat protectant which for the longest time i was forgetting to use this so i'm trying to be really good about using a heat protectant i'm gonna use this dream coat and just I think when I get my hair done this weekend, I want to add more layers since I have been curling my hair more. Ooh! I like this. I can already tell I like this. Okay. I was kind of doing the same thing with a straightener before, but sometimes my hair just gets stuck and it's kind of hard to do. I feel like for using this the first time, it's actually turning out really well. <gasps> I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm just gonna finish with this got to be glued little stick. I always use this for my eyebrows and my flyaways. It is so, so good. The hair turned out so good. I feel like I was kind of in a rut of like the millennial waves or like straight hair. I just wanted something that looked very like sophisticated and this is doing it for me so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed and if there's anything you guys think i should pick up before the sale ends please let me know and we'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.